Hello everyone and welcome back to Scorpio Tech. In this video we're going to be unboxing, testing out and reviewing the Razer Basilisk V3 Pro wireless gaming mouse. As many of you will already know from my setup tours, I've been using the wired Razer Basilisk Mercury for several years now thanks to its practicality, functionality and great ergonomic design. Razer reached out and sent me over this new version of the Basilisk in the form of the white V3 Pro. With a fresh design and additional features compared with its predecessors, let's Let's find out if it lives up to my high expectations. As we've come to expect over years, the unboxing experience is brilliant, with beautifully designed packaging, outlining key features, and the mouse itself cleverly displayed inside. Immediately we can see that the basilisk sticks to its original shape and form factor with that sort of hybrid ergonomic and gaming aesthetic. The Basilisk V3 Pro White Edition features a matte white finish with glossy black accents outlining the curves of the mouse. As well as this, the V3 Pro features much nicer rubberized grips than we've seen on the previous iterations. Many people, myself included, had issues with the rubber grips peeling off on the older mice, but that certainly doesn't look like the case here. We'll come back to the mouse shortly, but also included in the box is a 2.4GHz USB Type-A dongle as well as dongle adapter, braided USB Type-A to USB Type-C cable, paper Paperwork, and most importantly, Razer stickers. The V3 Pro features three modes of connectivity, which are of course wireless, Bluetooth, and wired, making it a very versatile device. But for $160 or £160, does it stand out from the crowd? Let's find out. As I mentioned previously, I'm a sucker for the design of the Basilisk. It fits my hand perfectly and features three side buttons, two additional buttons under the scroll wheel, as well as scroll wheel left and right click functionality. All of which can be easily and quickly programmed through the Razer Synapse software, which I have to admit is much better than it was a few years ago. As someone that works from home, this is generally my mouse for both work and gaming, so having that hybrid functionality and macros is vital to my workflow and enhanced gaming experience. The V3 Pro also features a hyper scroll tilt wheel, which lets you change between tactile and free spin scroll modes. But we'll come back and take a closer look at all of the software functionality shortly. As for the underside of the mouse, it features a 30k Focus Pro optical sensor with their highest resolution accuracy to date. As well as this, it also has motion sync for consistent tracking and lift off and landing distance calibration. It's also worth noting that the V3 Pro is compatible with Razer and any QI wireless chargers, although I tend to charge mine with a cable so I can continue using it. As expected, connectivity is very easy for each of the three methods, and when powered on, the mouse showcases its RGB capabilities. The V3 Pro features a total of 13 lights lighting zones including the scroll wheel, logo and beautiful underglow lighting which can all be customised with the Razer Chroma software. My preferred connection method is via the wireless dongle as it features Razer's hyperspeed technology for very low latency and high performance. But having the ability to quickly connect it to my laptop or iPad with Bluetooth is extremely handy. With that said, let's jump into the Razer Synapse software and take a look through the customization options. Synapse is much more intuitive than it used to be and any changes you would like to make are likely just a couple of clicks away. For example, in the Customize tab you can jump into any of the buttons and assign them a new role, whether that be multimedia controls, mic mute, custom macros and much much more. From here you can also access the various scrolling modes which are an awesome addition to the V3 Pro. The tactile mode is your pretty standard scrolling experience, with the free spin being a rapid and silent scroll, and the smart feel setting which is essentially a hybrid of both of these options. Moving over to the Performance tab we can adjust a few settings which include your DPI, which ranges from 100 to 30,000 for some reason, as well as your mouse's polling rate which ranges from 125 to 1000 Hz. Moving on to the lighting tab, you've of course got your brightness section, which can either completely disable the lights or set them to a lower percentage, which is of course going to affect your battery life which I'll come back to shortly, as well as your idle settings and of course your highly sought after lighting customization. Whilst I'm certainly not as mad for RGB as I was when I was a kid, it's still great to see such a plethora of options to truly make the mouse your own. And not only that, but the colour accuracy and brightness is seriously impressive, especially for a wireless mouse. You've got a whole bunch of options such as Wave, Fire, React, Starlight, Static and more to play around with, or you can be boring like me and turn the lights off. But on a serious note, for those of you that do have RGB as one of your mice criteria, you certainly won't be disappointed with the Basilisk V3 Pro's brightness and range of customization. 
And just a quick note, the mouse works equally as well via Bluetooth, and I can swap between the two devices in the flick of a switch. Comparing the V3 Pro to other mice I've used, we've got the Logitech G Pro X Superlight on the left, and the Corsair M65 Ultra in the centre. For me, the V3 Pro is a perfect mashup between both of these mice. It's lighter than the M65, but features the same excellent ergonomic shape and additional buttons that I feel that are missing on the G Pro X Superlight. Of course, this is very much a case of personal preference, but out of the three, the Basilisk would be my choice every day of the week, especially for my hybrid work and gaming requirements. A couple of things to mention before I give my thoughts about the mouse. The V3 Pro features Razer's optical switches which have a 90 million click durability, can be up to three times faster than mechanical switches, and also eliminate the risk of unintended double clicks. And from my experience so far, with the lights off and a 1000Hz polling rate, I was getting between 90 and 100 hours per charge, which I thought was fairly impressive, but of of course this number will be greatly reduced with the use of RGB. So here is my short review of the Basilisk V3 Pro. The V3 Pro is a cleverly designed, practical, ergonomic and feature packed mouse. With great software and customization options, the mouse can easily be tailored to your preferences, whether that be the RGB, macros, DPI and much much more. The build quality is simply excellent and much improved over the previous Basilisk iterations, but it may be slightly heavier than other dedicated gaming mice, but that's not necessarily a negative. The sensor is great, the connectivity options are ideal, and the ergonomic shape is perfect for my hands, but those of you with smaller hands or palms may find this mouse a little bit large. And that just about wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching, if you did enjoy it please consider leaving a like or subscribing to the channel if you're new. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.